Welcome back. It's now time for Plus Trending, where we look at topics driving conversations on social media. And to help do justice to this segment is Bookie November, our in-house social media manager. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I haven't seen you in at least a month. What? That is Come untrue, on. so uh -uh. Two weeks, months. <laughs> Two weeks. It feels like a it month, like a month, but she's maybe. been away for Miss about two me. weeks. Oh, we missed you. you. Good to see you. Oh, welcome back to work. Thank you. Get to it. So let, okay. let's talk. Let's talk. Yeah. Um, Shion Kuti is in the news this morning. Yeah. For... Okay. So um, for those people who call Shion Kuti a troublemaker, because I actually saw some of the comments on the regarding this topic, I think they should watch the video again and understand where he's coming from. Because I feel like people who just drop those kind of comments are people who haven't probably have never experienced the kind of thing he's experienced. I have <laughs> several times. Yeah. So let's quickly watch the video yeah. and then we can. Um, go ahead and talk about it. All right. Okay. What happened yesterday? Now, right in front of me, you see, this is why I hate all these investors. So a woman came to invest here. They didn't even notify me, no letter to any of the people on there. I didn't see any letter, no. They started their party at 9 a.m. I've never seen such a thing before in my life. They were making noise from 9 a.m. 6.30 p.m. 7 p.m. Now I want to go out because of them. I want to leave the house because I can't do anything in my house. I have to leave the house. Okay, let me go out. I open my gate. These people, they have blocked my gate. Move your car. You know what that, that first one tell me? He say, eh, 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 she, eh, what if you're, eh, this is because you cannot follow me later. I can't. I first give that one slap. Straight. Boy, move your car. As I was waiting in my car, the bouncer now came to meet me and threatened my life. He threatened my fucking life. He said, No, be you be Sean Kuti. Me and the come shy where they come find you. Why did they tweet that? So I let him go and come and kill me. That's when the fight started. And we didn't need to pull guns on anybody. Because we beat them with our bare hands. Both of them are nose, tear all their uniform. Now naked and shot because they take escape from off our streets. Yeah, they were gunshots because men day. Men day. Even if the federal government come for me, they don't bring arrest warrants. If they don't bring arrest warrants, bring judge signs, say, they'll say, the chairman wants to see you director. Now shoot out. I'm saying it now for the whole world to hear. They have to come to my house with arrest warrants. Uh, we apologize for that slip with the profanity. Um, it was supposed to have been edited out. We sincerely apologize uh, for that. But let's look at the matter itself. Could you uh, break it down for us? It's too much violence for a Monday morning. <laughs> oh, please. So from what he said, there was a party in his, and it's Ikeja. There was a party on the street. The party started early in the morning. And then it lasted till late in the evening. Well, not maybe lately, but late in the evening, not night, evening. And then he wanted to leave the house, but they had blocked the entrance to his house. So it took him about 20 minutes to finally get the attention of someone who was going to come move the car. The person came and then there was no fuel in the car. They had to push the car. He still had to wait. And then even when they moved the car, they now started, you know, there were, there were arguments basically like, oh, maybe arguments because of the way he reacted. But this is my take, right? First off, why block the entrance of people's... It's a residential yeah, area. But before you give us your thinking, could mm -hmm. you tell us what is being said on okay, social well, media? Yeah, so basically, the, 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 the people are divided on their reactions to this. First off, some people actually see Shimon as, the, like I said in the beginning, troublemaker. And they're like, he doesn't have... Some people even said, oh, you should get a lesson in patience. And, you know, learn to be very patient things like that. Well, it, not, quite a number of people actually agree with him that he had every reason to be angry. Maybe not get so angry as to end up in a shootout because people could have lost their lives. But he, he had every reason to be angry because he wanted to go out. They were blocking the entrance. And then everything thing just escalated from there on. So people are divided on, on suggestions. I have a few comments there if um, we could put them, put them on the screen. So people are basically divided on on, on the comments regarding this. And I think why he came out to say, because there was a part he talked about, it was a 15 minute video, so I had to cut it down. There was a part he talked about half truth and full truth. 
So he says the half-truth is as good as a lie. He would rather just come tell his side of the story, which was why he, he saw it on Twitter and then he came to do a video explaining what happened. Yes, I do agree that to a large extent, it shouldn't have resulted in a shootout because people could have lost their lives. You know, I, I don't, violence, I don't like violence. People could have lost their lives, but there could have been ways to actually handle the matter without having it escalate to that level. Because he was angry, 20 minutes waiting for someone to move their car because they went to a that, party. That's quite an unfortunate you know the one that, development. The one yeah. that annoys me is the ones that they do in, you know these markets that you pack or supermarkets that you pack and then they write their phone numbers there and then you, or even eateries and then you call the person and then they are eating, they don't come out. So you have to wait for the person to finish eating. And then come out and I mean, move their car. I, I would get angry. Anybody would get angry. I probably would not break anything or hurt anybody, but I would be angry and I probably would use some strong languages while talking to the person. But then he has a right to get angry. He's human. Yeah, the, yeah I mean, uh, being human and being a public figure as well, there is this um, extra pressure on you to be a certain way, um, mm -hmm. in, especially when it gets to... And then um, he wasn't... Um, he, 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 he felt justified in his action. Like you said, yeah. people are skeptical as to if the situation could have been better managed. Yeah, definitely. Um, what, what else made the headlines? Aha. Uh -huh. So, uh, have you guys heard that your governor has COVID? Yes, we Oh, have. we of broke the news. Okay. I was I in here. Saturday. You know, what was, what, was, what mm -hmm. are people saying well, on social media? Because it's not good news, right? Because I don't know why people... I don't know why people just... It feels like bad news is good news for people. Like, they, they, they gravitate towards bad news. Because, yes, he's human. He has COVID-19. I mean, come on, be sympathetic. But then people go, quite a number of people think it's just propaganda. Because yes. first off, I actually had a conversation with someone who insists that it is propaganda, that he's not sick. Because we still have people who believe there's no COVID-19, first off. And then we have people who believe that this second wave of COVID-19 is just, uh, people are just talking. So those people are now coming out to say, this is propaganda. Quite a number of people prayed for him and wished him well that he recovers well, especially with the Aero 5 one again. You know, wish them well that hopefully they, they recover. But then quite a number of people also believe it's propaganda. People believe they just want to use it to scare people to stay at home uh, because now there's a second wave of the, of the virus. Um, quite a number of people also, as they feel like it probably will lead to other things again that we didn't plan for, like closing churches and then going back to the whole lockdown situation and people having to suffer extra because of the situation of things. You know, so yes, that it's not a state of panic yet. People aren't really, really scared and locking their doors and all that. But yes, people are worried online as to uh, understanding how he has also championed the cause of COVID-19 in um, fighting COVID-19 in Lagos. Lagos they are scared that, oh, if you fighting COVID-19, could get the virus, then how safe are we? I mean, That's another set of people. So yes, of course, is, as expected, divided. There's um, you know, a lot of things you know that would always come into these conversations. You know, he, I saw a picture he posted, you know, with an Arsenal jersey and um, um, you know, tracksuit, you know, which had a gate on it, and it was like, well, why do you have a gate on your tracksuit? But anyway, um, you know, it's also great that you know, for those who believe that there is COVID nineteen and those who do not believe, you know, mm -hmm. there's all, always the angles where both, you know, have failed. Lagos is still very active at night. If you go to the clubs on Friday night, it is packed. Even wow. during a curfew, it is packed during a curfew. Um, and it doesn't seem like a lot of people care much about these COVID-19 guidelines. And so, you know, if these figures are increasing, whether, you know, the governor, um, unfortunately, he has it, but whether he got, you know, COVID-19 or not, doesn't change the fact that it is with us here in Lagos. And mm -hmm. people need to act right and do better in every single way. Don't ask me how I knew that the clubs are packed, because I was investigating. <laughs> I was going um, to ask. You know, we, 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 we definitely need to be. Yeah, let me just uh, say need to one be. last thing. I feel like people should be... First of all, he's human, like yeah. I said. People need to understand that human beings need to be sympathetic towards one another. The fact and then that they will now come online and read these mm, comments mm, on top of the fact that they are sick already. Just you know, turn off your phone if you can. It's just us. It's, it's a plague. We cannot go without being on social sad, media. Dude, you know, so you have to just really find some kind of filter to stay healthy. Exactly. Uh, but Buki, is there something else you would like to share with us this no, morning? I think these are the biggest topics so far. For yeah. the, it's the, Monday, the weekend. So a lot more will happen uh -huh. by next week. Of course. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me on the show. Hello.
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.